Welcome back to FCK Food. We're putting the relationship between food and football under the microscope. This week, we're putting matchday pies to the test in our new series we're calling Matchday Munchies. Thousands of us turn out every week to watch the game, armed with a sausage roll, burger, or a pasty. We're on a mission to ditch processed factory floor shite and find top quality delicious food that's better for you and supports local business too. First up, it's North London and the once almighty Arsenal. Welcome to Matchday Munchies. We're here outside the, the Emirates now. What I'm doing is I'm not actually asking you about the football, I'm asking you about food. What do you usually have to eat? Like before a match? Yeah, uh, I had a hot dog earlier, about two, about five minutes ago, yeah. What about yourself? I had a hot dog as well, had to have it. <laughs> Burger, normally, yeah, every time. Kind of yeah, kind of hearty food, like fry up, that kind of stuff. Yeah. I, I'd be a good burger or chicken man kind of way. That's why I'd always like a big bit of meat in the stomach before I go into a match. Like. Yeah, I get a kebab. Just had a kebab there, yeah. yeah. Pint and a pie, me. Pint and a pie. Pint and a pie, hard to beat it. Yeah. Okay, Ollie Geel, resident Guna and bona fide Aussie is with Jake Watson today to sample a match day classic, the pie. First on their itinerary is Young Vegans, a vegan pie and mash shop located in Camden Market, just 15 minutes from the Emirates. The boys are going to sample the Young Vegans answer to the classic steak and ale and chicken parmigiana. Can these plant-based pies really compete with the classics? Well, mate, it's again. Play around. It's really, honestly, it's really good. That's weird, isn't it? Well, I'm down for the football. Yep. I'm going to go to watch the beloved Leicester City. Yeah. Always go for the chicken bolty pie. What's that? Basically curry in a pie. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's good. What about you in down the Arsenal? Mm. I get the mm. wow. I get the Thierry on right. Crushed silver side and gravy. Beautiful. And imagine mm. if the pies are decent, probably better than the football. Yeah, it's interesting, <laughs> isn't it? So in Australia, it's pretty natural you go for a top six or seven. Yeah. Right? You know, that's the way must be Arsenal, right? Yeah, correct. Yes. I played for a team called South Over. Get them in there. The boys. South Over when I was five, right? Yeah. And we used to play in rip-off Arsenal kits because one of the dads went on a trip to Bali right. and brought back a stack of Arsenal gear, like fake rip-off Arsenal gear. And so that, so we wore that when we were five. So that's what you're Arsenal fan? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's right. great. What's the veg on the pie? Mate, I love it. I'm actually, honestly, I can't go down with this and I'm like genuinely... Are you not eating the pastry though? Yeah, just no, I've just had the... some, I've just had some. But the, I think the important thing for me is the filling because, right. you know, it effectively has to be substitute. This, if I went to, if I turned up at Leicester, yeah. or crew, yeah. and this, they were selling this pie, and they didn't tell me it was meat substitute. And even if they did, yeah. I'd still have this. Yeah, no, for sure. Honestly, this is it's good, isn't it? Nice. Really good. I think the flying rat likes it. I don't know. What do you reckon? So that's, I mean, that's not coming off in the wind. Oh, daddy. Sort of broke back mountain sort of stuff, isn't it? I've got a pie, and I want you to just have a little pass it around. It's a match day pie with a difference. Pie. Good pie? Yeah? Mm -hmm. What is it? Steak pie? Yeah, steak and ale. Steak and ale. What it is? Classic. Much a pie. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely a pie. Some beef stew kind of a job with that. Yeah, beef. Yeah. Beef. So this is uh, a steak and ale pie, but it's a vegan pie. So there is no meat in that whatsoever. Oh, that was, that was, that wasn't steak. No, that's <laughs> not, that was not meat. But it was, it was not. <laughs> Highbury Corner, our next location, was started by Paul and Nikki in their front garden in Highbury back in 2011 and has quickly become a matchday ritual for gourmet gooners. On the menu for the boys at Highbury Corner today is the Tony Adams, a classic steak and ale, the Dennis Bergkamp, chicken, ham and leek, a vegetarian potato, cheese and onion garlic and two vegan pies the Mediterranean veg and spicy mixed beans and veg. So there's no surprise with that one. Oh. Mm. On a match day, I quite like having either a Dennis Burkamp or a Thierry yeah. Henry. It's a beautiful dish. And then you start thinking what pie you'd be. What, yeah. what pie would you be? Chunky chicken. <laughs> Scared and chunky. I think we give this vegetarian one a go. Right. Not sure if it's got a specific name, but it should be the Hector Bello. Why? Pie. Well, he's vegan. You can eat vegan food and it not be healthy. Sure. But by and large, if people are eating vegan stuff as a professional athlete, it obviously means they're clearly conscious about what they're eating. So yep. um, 
you know, I, mean, I, I know loads of stories of, of ex-pros, etc., who literally used to live off, you know, kebabs, pot noodles, and that kind of thing. Really? Yeah. You know, and you, you hear the Forest Green's obviously the obvious example, isn't it? The, yeah. The, the club down there. I know a few Norwich players who have done the same thing. Russell Martin, who's now the manager of MK Dons, he went vegan, oh. and um, yeah, he, he can speak highly enough of it. Chris Morning again, mm. but quickly on this one. Yeah. Thoughts? Because well, obviously it's different because in particular we know there's no meat in there, but the pastry is obviously different. All I'd say to the if you compare a vegan to a vegetarian one is that's quite clearly vegetables yeah. all, all in a pie and look at me I'm the chunky chicken pie the chunky chicken. I have not experienced my fair share of vegetarian you're trying pies. really hard to get a pie named after you here aren't you <laughs> <laughs> the chunky chicken the chunky you come enough times this is what happens <laughs> uh, but honestly with that one I'm going to be completely honest with the vegan one we had earlier there was a meat substitute but there's not a meat substitute in there so it just feels like I'm having a veggie pie yeah mate 25 years on this planet you know what you're like yeah, the same, same as you. Same, mate. You're 25. <laughs> yeah. 25 and a half. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. All right. right, that's it from us this week. Next time you're heading to a game, give Greg's the swerve and get your hands on some of these pies. Make sure you give the meat-free pies a go. They're fucking delicious. Bon voyage. Don't forget to check our website at fckfood.com.